When I saw this auto feed on Instagram, I thought, I need an upgrade. If you're looking for a dry food pet auto feeder, I definitely recommend checking out the Warpet F09. This is my current uh, pet feeder and I upgraded to this. And I'm gonna show you th some of the nice designs that are implemented here that I had to make up for in this. And first off, look at the top cover. You could see it's a lot wider and you could also clean it out quite easily. You see how this is much more restrictive. And also this is much more compact. You see how the tray's sticking out. If I don't want this thing that I could just pop on the shelf and just put it away in the cupboard or something, whereas this has this thing jutting out. There's lots of great details about this. Like for example, the top cover has a desiccant which absorbs all the humidity, uh, keeps the food dry, and I also had this idea myself. I had to make up for it. So I basically taped one at the top of this. Um, the reason why I taped this to the top is because food, dry food is very oily. If you were to put this in the dry food as well, which I initially did, this thing gets clogged up quite easily by the oil. You can see that there's a bit of oil stain on that piece of paper there. And I purposely put it there because it would discolor the white plastic. So that's why I had this piece of paper in there, just so that I could easily remove it and then it would be nice and clean and I pop in another piece of paper and it's fine to eat off of it. So this goes on to their other design here, which is using a metal bowl rather than a plastic one. Extremely durable. They're easy to clean. This is much more hygienic, very easy to put on. You just pop this over and that's it, you're done. You see how there's saliva on this? Cause he's actually licking it and you definitely want a sterile bowl. And you could actually remove this bowl. Whereas this, I have to lift this whole thing, bring it to the uh, sink, as in this whole thing, because there's no separate bowl, and clean it there. This thing, I could just pop this in the dishwasher. Easy. And, yeah, it's stable, because the whole thing is clamped down to it. What's also great is that the food comes down and it's over the bowl as well and the bowl is deep. And one of the main problems I had with this is that the food comes out and actually acts like a slide and then the food actually goes into the floor. This is pretty deep and so the food doesn't jump out. So everything you see here can be taken apart, which is great, again, for cleaning. So um, there's a lock here and then you could remove this. Here we go. This actually has a double lock. You could lock, you lock it like this and there's also a lock in the back. So it, what it does, it raises this so it doesn't, you can't twist it. Um, you take this apart so you could clean it. And here is the feeding mechanism. And you could also remove this. You can unlock this. And you could clean this out as well which is great. Everything is accessible, everything is easy to clean. I can't do that on that. I just have to leave it in there um, and the food would just build up. And this is just simply a motor that turns this and what it does, it, it reveals the slot every every turn. You can see that there's this these two clear things, which is a laser to tell how much food you have left and if it's below this line, it tells you to refill it. And it just shows as a little red light at the very top here. And this is, I mean, you could definitely see it through this. And this is just an extra precaution, a bit of redundancy, which is great. You don't want your pet to starve. So this setting is to turn this light off. And this is just a blue LED light. It's meant to be a night light. Uh, but your pets can definitely see at night. This is definitely for you to not kick it um, by accident at night. So I'm gonna turn this off. And so you see how it's turned off now. It uses USB and it comes with this, uh, this thing, great, it's UK. Um, this is just, I don't need to use this at all because I have so many USB ports. This is just a normal five amp. Uh, sorry, five volt, one amp um, USB outlet. So I have plenty of those. 
And this also takes uh, D-sized batteries as well. In case there's a power outage, um, you could actually use batteries as well. And so it could act as backup in, yeah, in case there's a power outage. That way the battery can be used to store and remember the settings that you have here as well. There's always continuous power. You can actually have this automatically train your pet to recognize your voice because it will keep playing and after a while, it will get it. Um, but you could train initially just by pressing this. And then pressing this. And then your pet will hear that. And it'll actually show you how many remaining portions it has left. It was meant to be the countdown. F01 means that's how big it is. So he heard it and then he eats it and then he's, after a while, he gets fully trained by it. You see how the bowl is nice and wide for him and the food doesn't pop off uh, the tray. I'm gonna walk through the setup. Hit settings for two seconds and then you'll see this. This is to change the clock, as in the official general clock. So um, let's go to the time and I'll just show you, see how this is adjusting the time. And that's quite straightforward. And then let me just leave that. So if I wanna program something, I wanna press, press down. And then here's the one of six meals that I could program during the day. Um, if I go to okay, this is how many portions, P for portions you want. If you want to turn this off, you just put to zero. Let's go to three, okay. One, okay. Set this at three o'clock. Okay, okay, okay. And just for fun, I'll set this to six. So two portions for for dinner. Let's go okay. Ten o'clock. Okay, and that's it. And then so there you go. You got two, three, and six. Notice there's no Monday through Friday or Sunday. It's per day. Every day will be the same. I notice it remembers the settings even if I remove the power and battery. So these are the settings that I've set. So let me just remove the power. Here's the power completely removed. Okay, there's nothing. And I actually left this for three days and it still remembers it. So it's, it, there's some sort of memory storage. And there it is. You see, it remembers everything. So it saves me from having to press everything again when there's a power shortage or if I have to move the plug somewhere else. It's very convenient. I hope you enjoy this uh, review. Uh, if you'd like to see more of these reviews, just like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.